Hello folks, welcome to Sherwood Park Toyota located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. Today I'm going to be showing you this new Toyota RAV4 SE. Now the most notable features on this SE is its heated steering wheel, you also have your blind spot monitoring, and your power lift gate. Now I'm going to go through a couple more features on the inside and outside of the vehicle just to get you better familiar with this new Toyota RAV4 SE. Let's get started. Now a couple of the exterior features that you will see on this SE model is your daytime running lights. You also have your fog lamps and then if we take a look just over on the side here you're going to see your 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels. Now you also have your blacked out mirrors as well as your integrated signal lamps, foldable mirrors and then taking a look on the inside of the mirror there you're going to see your blind spot monitoring indicator. Now with your blind spot monitoring indicator it'll actually light up just alerting you that there's another vehicle right beside you. The other nice thing is you do have the smart key system with it as well. So with the smart key system, you can lock all the doors simultaneously just by pushing on the two little lines you see there on the handle. Push on it once, it'll lock all the doors automatically. And then if you put your hand between the handle, it'll unlock the front door for you as well. Now this is all possible just as long as you do keep the key fob on you at all times. And the color we're going to be taking a look at today is silver. Now to start off with, we're going to be taking a look at your front dash as well as your front seats just so you have a much better idea of how much space there is. Now you have your black leather interior seat surfaces with your power driver seat with lumbar support. And taking a look just over on your left hand side, you have your mirror controls with your lane departure alert, you have your heated steering wheel, all wheel drive lock and power lift gate release. On the inside of your driver's side door you do have your window locks, power locks and window controls both your front and rear windows. Now a couple of the controls you'll see here on the steering wheel include your volume control scroll function, Bluetooth mode select voice recognition, as well as your scroll function for your multi-informational display, and your cruise control. Now you do have that push button start, so all you have to do is put your phone on the brake, hit the push button, and it will start up for you automatically. Now taking a look at the multi-informational display, you have an exterior temperature gauge as well as your trip info distance to empty, eco indicator, all wheel drive indicator, and a sway warning control. And then you also have your navigation, audio, lane departure alert, messages, and then your settings for your lane departure alert, pre-collision system, as well as your blind spot monitoring on and off, and a couple of other additional features. Now taking a look at your center dash as well as your touch panel display, you're gonna see a couple of different options, which include your hazard lights. And then over in the right hand corner there, you're gonna see your traction control on and off. Now, parents, if you're worried about your kids not buckling up their seatbelts, those indicator lights won't actually turn on until they've actually buckled up their, or I should say turn off, until they've actually buckled up their seatbelts. Now, taking a look here, you also have inside your apps menu, your navigation, audio, phone, as well as a couple of other additional features. Down below, you do have your dual zone climate control settings with your front and rear defroster. Underneath you have your eco and sport mode with your heated seat controls for your driver and passenger, USB and auxiliary with your window wiper de-icer and your two power outlets. Now it's matted to a automatic transmission and taking a look at the very top there you have your auto dimming rear view mirror with integrated garage door opener and digital compass and at the very top you'll find your open and close as well as your tilt up and down feature for your power moonroof just in case you want to have a bit of a breeze flowing through the vehicle just while you're driving and then you have your sunglass case holder and if you forget your sunglasses at home you have the visor extenders just located on your driver and passenger side. Finally we'll be taking a look at your rear cargo area as well as your tailgate now located on the back of your tailgate you'll find your backup camera just on your left hand side and your rear hatch release located underneath your Toyota emblem. All you have to do is push on the button once and it will open up automatically for you. Now I'm just going to close in on the rear cargo space just so you have a much better idea of how much room there is. Now the nice thing is you do have the tonneau cover in the back so if you want to make sure your valuables are actually covered up just while you're going from place to place, you can use it this way. Now if you do need the additional space you can fold down that 60-40 split rear seat and then taking a look underneath the floor you will find some under the floor storage where you can hide away some of your valuables. And taking a look under the floor once more here. You'll find your spare tire as well as your jack and your toolkit. But the nice thing about this space is that you can actually store your tonneau cover underneath here as well. So in the event that you have some cargo that sits a little bit higher and it's in the way of the tonneau cover, you can just place it on top of the spare tire here and then store it underneath the floor rather than having to take it out and place it into the garage and possibly needing it afterwards. 
Now the other thing I like is you do have that power adjustable lift gate so in the event that you do want to readjust the height for yourself a little bit lower, hold down on the button for approximately two seconds at the height you'd like it at. It'll beep a couple of times and when you close it and open it again it'll open up to this height for you. However if you want to reset the height for yourself hold down on the button again for more than four seconds. It'll beep several times and when you close it and open it again it'll open up to this height for you. A couple of the uses for that power lift gate is if you're a little bit shorter or if the garage you have is a little bit lower you can prevent the back of your tailgate from being damaged. Thank you so much folks for watching this video today. If you have any questions, please visit us. We're located at 31 Automall Road in Sherwood Park, Alberta, Canada. The phone number is 780-410-2455. Or please visit our website at sbtoyota.com to get us by email. Once again, folks, thank you so much for watching this video today. If you have any comments or any additional questions, please leave them in the comment section located down below. Other than that, make sure you have a great day, and I hope to see you next time.